90s mystery box. This comes from Mr. Clinton. I don't know why I like when it says like Mr. That's like the most random thing I can say. I feel like you can tell when my brain starts to go to mush because I just start saying like really stupid things like blue. I like the color blue. Blue is a great color. Oh look, this actually comes from Sydney. Okay, they must be using, um, I don't know, mom, dad, boyfriend, husband, uncle, somebody else's shipping label i'm gonna save this one for later let's find out what's in that oh my gosh do you guys remember these oh these are so awesome they're like these wax candle well aren't all candles wax is there a type of candle that's not made of wax it used to be like Fimo clay beads. Do you guys remember those in the 90s as well? But it's like you could keep the shell of these candles sometimes. Like sometimes the outside wouldn't burn and you could just pop a new little candle in there but still have this really cool amazing thing on the outside. This is clearly the piece de resistance. It is a freaking 90s caboodle and look at that okay you guys this one is like super authentic i love this color scheme oh teal and fuchsia <gasps> and look at these squiggly lines okay that is 90s design at its finest let's open it up we have treasures inside Oh my god, this is a treasure. This is a treasure, a treasure. I have been looking for years silently, but who out there, who was a 90s kid who remembers Yikes school supplies? They were like the coolest things and I had this eraser and I miss it every day of my life. Yikes was like a collaboration between two brands. I, I don't think it was like Nickelodeon, but maybe it was Nickelodeon or like MTV or something like that. But it was just, they had pencils that were shaped like triangles. They had that, which you see, which is just, oh, I'm never gonna erase with this. This is like a preserved piece of history. <gasps> oh, these are so perfect for me. Look at this, Claire's magnetic earrings and they're little turtles and they're yin yangs but this is perfect that it's magnetic because that means i can put them on this side where all my piercings closed up people always ask me like why do you only wear earrings in one ear that's because that's the only ear that i have piercings left in oh my gosh these are like literally stuck on the little foam so hardcore because they they're like dead stock they've never been worn i remember when mag magnetic jewelry first came out and it was like the coolest thing to me that you could just like wear earrings without like piercing a hole in your ear because i was too scared to get my ears pierced till i was nine so for a long time i didn't have a way to wear earrings except for these gorgeous magnetic ones they're so cute they're like dainty and you guys know obviously you guys know that i just love yin yangs i have always loved yin yangs like my whole life on youtube what what is this it's so cool but i think you can just like i don't maybe you could put a teeny tiny little candle in here like a stick candle either way perfect for my life i'm gonna love it forever it's a little pewter alligator do you guys remember like i feel like all these little pewter figurines were like such a big deal in the 90s as well we have little worry dolls oh my gosh my mom used to give me these all the time because i was always so paranoid about going to school i think you're supposed to put them under your pillow and they take your worries away we also have some very lovely little um natural stones in here we have another bag and i am living for the contents because look at this giant keychain mirror it's a glitter flower it it almost has like an element of like 60s kickback design because i feel like that was kind of popular in the 90s was like throwing back the 60s like we had a lot of like oh my gosh yeah happy faces look at this oh this is so perfect it's a oh it's a necklace that is so awesome i thought it was a bracelet at first but it's more of that enamel jewelry but look at it it's so adorable it's like um primary colored smiley faces that is too freaking cute look this is like exactly what i was saying like how um, I felt like we had like a 60s revival in the 90s. I'm just shoving this ring on my finger. Um, it's adjustable, so I just need to adjust it. Oh my God, and this is like, oh, I love this one. I never had this one. It's um, hologram jewelry, and it's got like a 3D looking image of dolphins inside of it. So freaking cool. And these called puka bead. Either way, it's shell jewelry. 
so gorgeous oh my gosh you guys remember like wwjd that was like such the everybody had those um like woven bracelets everyone wore those oh my gosh look here is an example of femo clay i feel like i'm like a history channel program right now for the 90s but look at that oh look this is so cool so this is the base for the candle I was telling you guys about earlier. That is so cute. I'm gonna totally put that on the fireplace. That's where Dogman and I burn our candles. So not 90s, but so amazing. Look at this little doll, all in pieces, but look, it has no eyes. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that I love. This is the kind of stuff that I love. I mean, all of this stuff is the kind of stuff that I love, but it's just like so creepy. I kind of want to leave it stuck in a box. We also have a little beanie baby. Hello. Oh, look, he looks like he's waving. Hello. Freckles. Is this a leopard or a cheetah? You'd think I'd know, because I wear leopard all the time. I really don't know the difference between a cheetah and a leopard, except for I know that cheetahs run really fast. And last but certainly not least, we have Beethoven. 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 You'd think I'd know how to pronounce that from Clockwork Orange and all that, but clearly it's not. Thank you so much, Sydney. I'm sorry I called you Mr. Clinton like 50 times. We have two more boxes. They're both extremely heavy. So this one comes from Wendy, and I'm just gonna show you guys the box because it's really cute on the outside. New Year's resolution to be able to lift a 10 pound box. That would be amazing. So look at this, Bodacious MTV. We've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and uh, it says bunny on it. Let's start slicing. We're gonna slice the box as soon as I find the knife, which I'm probably gonna find with my foot. Slicing, 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 slicing. Oh, we don't have worms, but we have peanuts. So many peanuts. Let's eat them. Um, do you know some peanuts are edible? I think maybe just the ones from Lush. It says open me first. All right, I'll follow instructions. Also, 10 out of 10, okay, for the origami, I almost said fart folding. Thank you for the lovely folded farts. They are works of art. I used to know how to fold paper like this, but not anymore. All the Swamp family was so enraged by that original 90s eBay mystery box. Um, so this comes from Wendy. I already said that, uh, but me and her daughter share the same birthday, same birth date, but different years. And she said that we are all blonde, her, her daughter, and me, and that we are all Leos. So look at that, look at that. Time to party. I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Killing a pepper. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I am living. Look at this. Look at what it is. I'm not even ready to show you because it's so exquisite. Oh my gosh. And his ears are the straps. You guys, it is a freaking Bugs Bunny plush backpack purse. I was so uh, obsessed with the animal bags when I was a kid. I had a long haired puppy dog and I had a pony. And I think that those are the only two that I ever had. But now I have Bugs Bunny and you better believe I'm gonna carry this. Okay, because recently, you guys may or may not have seen, I think I showed it in a follow me around video where I found one that was a Furby and I carry it all the time. Ooh, we've got goofy string. Do you want some Scylla string? I'm sure you do. You know you do. You know you do. I can't see you anymore. I can't see you anymore. Okay. Ooh, that smells delicious. Let's turn this one to a hat. All right. Moving along. <laughs> Ooh, we have boxes to unwrap and a tag stabbing me in the pupil. Sassy, so sassy. <gasps> what is this? You and Dogman will have a blast with these? Um, yeah, we will because they are soccer boppers. Look at that. You can like punch each other and feel no pain because they're pillows for your fists. You got another gift bag and it's purple and green. Oh, I almost did paper and there's something on the top, which is knowing me probably like fragile and breakable. I'm just about to like paper it to the moon. All right. Ooh, 
Oh, we have a bag of luscious candy. Look at that. I just unwrapped hubba bubba bubble tape. And then we have push pops, which was like one of my favorite treats from the 90s. Um, although, do you guys remember the Flintstone Sherbert ice cream pops? I wish they still made those because they were delicious. <gasps> We have a precious little beanie baby. Is this the one with the rose? Why am I remembering a beanie baby with like a rose embroidered on its chest? Oh wait, is this Valentina? Yes, <laughs> look at that, I even remember the names. Valentina, and she's so pretty. Hello. Let's see when her birthday was, shall we? Did we miss it? Can we still celebrate? February 14th, 1998. Flowers, candy, and hearts galore. Sweet words of love for those you adore. With this bear comes love that's true on Valentine's Day and all year through. Razzlers, ra razzles, yes, razzles, and pop rocks. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, oh, we have another, oh my gosh. Wait, I seem to remember that this was like a winter one. Yes, it has snowflakes. It's perfect for this time of year. Oh my gosh, look at the little scarf. So cute. Your name is 1999 Holiday Teddy. Let's see what they had to say in 1999. Peace on earth as the holidays grow near. The season is all about giving good cheer. With love and joy in your hearts, let's all be friends as the century starts. What is this? <gasps> no freaking way. Oh, I think I'm gonna choose to leave this in the package because it just looks so amazing, which is so unlike me. I'm so torn right now, but I just love the packaging so much. And I know if I open it, then I probably won't keep the packaging. It is Animaniacs sealed mystery pack of pogs. Are you guys rubbing off on me? Like people in the comments always being like, why would you open that? Why would you open that? I'm kind of now feeling like, why would you open that? And then there's like a little checklist on the back. There were 60 different pogs made. Oh my gosh, 1995. We're gonna leave it sealed for now. We might open it in the future. I'm so torn. Ooh, look at all these. We've got Little wrappy wraps to unwrappy wrap. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> oh, we have Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Definitely a very 90s staple. Are there pictures in it? Um, no, because this is like for adults and not kids. They're not like Jurassic Park for babies. What do we have in here? Oh my gosh, is this freaking hook? I'm loving it. And it even has like a drama sticker on it. Maybe this came from like a library or something like that. Let's see, does it have like a sticker? This had to come from a library because it has like a faded skew on the side. Like if you were gonna check it out. Oh my gosh, I love Hook. Just cause I love the scene where they go, Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. I don't know why, I just, Probably because I freaking wanted to be Rufio. I always wanted to be the guy characters. I don't know why. Uh, all right, let's see what's inside of this box. The box was wrapped, now the box is taped. Now we gotta open it up to see what's inside. I feel like I'm moving so slow today, so I hope you guys were in the mood for a two hour long video. But maybe you're like on a holiday. Maybe you're bored. Am I helping your boredom right now? Get out of here. Okay, <gasps> ooh, what is this? What is, oh my God. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited for this. It's like the most magical treasure troll that I never had in my life until now and I am so excited for it. It is the skateboarding treasure troll. And I was just relaying to Dogman the other day. You guys, skateboarding is one of the things that I wish most that I had learned how to do in life. And we were talking, I think it's because we were watching the Santa Claus. And so, you know, there's like that scene in the movie where they talk about like presents that they never got for Christmas. Oh my gosh, technically from the late 80s, but the last one was in the 90s, which boosted this item's popularity as a whole. Wow, if I could talk, that would be great. Anyway, we were talking about like the one Christmas present that we never got. And I said, one year I asked Santa for a skateboard, but an elf told me that skateboards were too dangerous, which is probably true for me because I'm like a total klutz. But still, I feel like if I would have started skateboarding when I was like six or something, I'd probably be really good at it by now. And you guys, 
I'm loving this. I had no idea that this was from the late 80s because I totally read this in the 90s. I wish I could find my original copies. I might have just lost them like in the flood because I think that they were in storage. Oh my god, the illustrations were like so scary. But my old copies, I literally would sit down and highlight every word in every different color after I read it. Like mine is like 58 million different cover colors uh, because I would keep reading it and then I would start like underlining every word. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? But it's scary stories to tell in the dark. More scary stories to tell in the dark. Scary stories three more tales to chill your bones now. We heard that these were about to be made into a movie directed by Tim Burton. Is that just something that the internet made up to taunt me? Because that would be like the greatest thing in the world. I mean, even if Tim Burton wasn't directing it, it would just be like the greatest thing in the world if they made all these like scary stories into a movie. I love movies like that, like Creep Show. I kind of like Trick or Treat, but like where it's one long movie that has like lots of different stories inside of it. Anyway, we got a fresh bag of ring pops. And I'm so excited about that. Let's open. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite gum in the world. Big League Chew. Go ahead and open it and I'll show you guys what it looks like now. It's like little strips of bubble gum and you just tear it off and eat like chunks, like giant wads of bubble gum. It's the best. Sorry for the dog hair. Whoa. Dude, I thought this dog hair was purple and I was like, what kind of magical dog do you have? Do you have Salcor? He's a dragon. Do you guys remember that? I think Falcor is from the 80s too. Never ending story. I love that too. I read that book probably at least twice. Oh my God, I so remember these. Oh, I haven't seen these in forever. Do you guys remember these? They were like these things that you put on the ends of your t-shirt to kind of like tuck your t-shirt, like make turn it into a crop top almost, or just add a little flair and pizzazz. I'm excited for these, I love these. Oh my gosh, and look, they match the Spice Girls books exactly. <gasps> Aesthetically pleasing. Really feel like I could like do less boxes each time, do you know what I mean? Um, oh my gosh, a freaking Kush ball. Oh, I am sad to see people are like now cutting these up to put in slime. Have you guys seen those videos on Instagram or am I the only one that just gets like 500 slime videos a day? It's like, I think I looked at like slime like 10 times on Instagram and then they're like, okay, all you see in your feed now is slime. We have fighting golf. Wait, Lou, who is Lee Trevino? That name is so familiar, but I can't think of it right now, but it is a handheld golfing game oh my gosh we have silly putty i love this stuff when i was a kid because do you know what i did with it is i would stretch it out really thin i would get the funny section from the newspaper and you can actually like make a print with silly putty if i had newspaper right now i would show you but i don't so i can't i still just have bugs bunny strapped to my back oh my god it's pocket poker I feel like my dad would love this. I feel like for some reason I had this when I was a kid or maybe it was called like jackpot or something. I remember I had a card one. Nonetheless, I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was. Oh my God. Look at this. Great Swamp Family Minds think alike. We have more jelly sandals, but these are a different style. For some reason, I always call these Cinderella shoes. It's so cool because they're also so sparkly. They have pink and gold glitter on the inside. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but look at that. We have two amazing styles of jelly sandals. I can't wait until the weather is not anything like it is right now. Ooh, we've got Scooby-Doo candy sticks. Oh, the Flintstones, Scooby-Doo, and Tom and Jerry. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is freaking perfect for my new kids on the block jacket that eBay sent a couple boxes back because it is a new kids on the block lapel pin and I'm gonna wear it with pride. Ooh, this feels like a magazine or something of some sort. Is it? Ooh, I see it's from 1994. <gasps> I had this magazine. Okay, now I have it again. Oh my God, this is when he was on Kate Moss. Look at that. Oh, true love in a trashed hotel room. Remember that? Remember when he like got arrested for throwing things? Oh, look, that must be, um, what was he in here? Gilbert Grape, I think that's when he had hair like that. Take you through a Johnny Depp timeline of Johnny Depp haircuts. What do we have here? <laughs> look at that. 
wait, what is this? Movies fill? Movie? Movie line. I was like, wait, why can't I read it? What's that? It's Darth Vader. Another one of my new obsessions with performances by Jerry Seinfeld and Rod Stewart. What kind of duet is that? Oh my God, I didn't do it. It's like all of a sudden I'm trying to understand how to read. Just forgot how to read casually. Oh, there we go. Look at that. This is the kind of stuff I would like tear out, hang on the wall. Peanuts, 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 peanuts. Down to the last box. I'm so sad this is like coming to an end. Oh my God, I just dumped batteries out onto my lap. Look at that, giant battery. Um, Are we gonna play Operation right now? Oh, this game like literally gave me such anxiety. Let's play it. Operation, water on your knee. Operation, doing something else. Operation. <sighs> okay, at least this one, I feel like the one I had when I was a kid, like um, made a very loud, angry noise and it literally just was like, <sighs> like it would freak me out. But this one just, look, he's just like, no, stop, aberration. Thank you so much, Wendy. That was a very sassy treasure trove. And now I'm sitting in a pile of my own peanuts. All right, let's open this box, which I also can't lift. And it's from Mary Beth. What happened to the knife? Okay, we're missing enough. We can't go any further. So, there went my big league chew. Should I just use my teeth? Where is the knife? I found it. <laughs> we got paper. Oh, read before opening. Don't mind if I do. Mary Beth, who also wrote me with the most exquisite glitter pin on the most exquisite Lisa Frank stationery, uh, said that she has a ton of 90s stuff and she wanted to share because she also felt pained after watching the 90s mystery box. I feel like any 90s kid that watched that, it just, it, physical pain, right? We have, is this a Girl Scout jacket? Oh my God, no, it's American Girl. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm sorry, Bugs Bunny. I gotta take you off for a minute so I can wear this fabulous American Girl Letterman jacket. I don't know why I love Letterman jackets. Can we make Swamp Family Letterman jackets? Because that would be amazing. I would probably like wear it every day of my life and never take it off. Ooh, 90s. Ooh, 90s. Look at that. I'm an American girl now. Ha! <laughs> it's a freaking Spice Girls. Is this a lunchbox? Oh my gosh. Everything in here is luscious. I want you to know. Look at that. You like slide. That's like super secret way to store your apples. Ooh! My Little Pony inside. Real My Little Pony too from 1997. And she has sparkly eyes because she loves you. Look at that, look at that. Okay, My Little Pony aficionados. Which pony is this? She has a sun on her butt. What does that mean? <gasps> oh, I loved these so hardcore when I was a kid and they're back now. Who remembers the cupcake dolls? I think they call them something else now though. Weren't they called like cupcake surprises or something? My gosh, these were made by Tonka. The same people who do the trucks. Oh, and I feel like I remember them being scented and they had different scents, but I just love them so much because you could just fold them into cupcakes. Oh, one of the few dolls that I loved in my life. I feel like I've kind of said that before. Like I never was into dolls as a kid, which is so crazy because now clearly I am obsessed with dolls. What is this guy? He looks so familiar. Look at these. It's like a rat. And uh, he almost looks like a road runner or something. These are actually characters that I don't know what these are from. I know you guys are gonna like holler at me because I'm sure they're from something like very recognizable. I'm just like pfft, having a mind blank. And we have Barbie. She's like hair crimp. Oh my God, girl, I want your hair. Look at this luscious, lightly crimped, voluminous Barbie hair. So soft. I feel like Barbie hair is not this soft anymore. Look, this is like beach tattoo Barbie. Is this a fire horse? Isn't that, wasn't those the ones from the 90s? Or what's that other brand? 
I of course loved these when I was a kid because I was all about horses growing up. I was so into horseback riding and I had a collection. I don't remember if they were Briar. Is that the brand I'm trying to think of? Oh, look, here's a card. Grand Champions, the most beautiful horses in the world. Oh, it's a Jutland mare. How did I not know this? So look, there's that and some beautiful butterfly temporary tattoos and a little brush for the pony hair. Look, it works on Barbie too. If it's good for the pony, it's good for Barbie. I feel like I had this exact same bag growing up and I loved it. It's like a macrame bag and it's got some sequins on it. You know, just a little bit of sparkle, not too much. But this is like actually a very adorable accessory. Like I would, I don't know. I mean, I would wear, carry and use all of this stuff. There's not one item that I've gotten out of any of these boxes that I wouldn't like gladly wear. Oh my God. This is such, I watch videos of these toys sometimes. I think it's like Lucky Penny Shop. I can't remember who has done this before, but it is like a McDonald's. I don't know how this goes together, but it's like you made McDonald's food at home. I don't know which play set that this is from. This looks like something you would like roll dough. I think the one I watched the video of was like a drink dispenser you would like somehow i don't know make soda happen i don't know what this one is for but it's just like so much fun to look at oh we have butterfly art barbie and it's all making sense now those temporary tattoos that i just showed you guys where yes this is for barbie so you can see she's already proudly wearing one she already has a belly button tattoo but you can put these tattoos all over your barbie doll that's amazing is this what i think it is because it's so freaking majestic it is pocahontas classic bed sheets and anytime i find like old 90s nostalgia bed sheets at the thrift store i always get them bring them home wash them like 50 times and then i have my mom make uh pillowcases with me and so that's totally what i'm gonna do with these pokey pokey haunted sheets i love pocahontas when i was a kid oh look there she is with miko and they have a little compass that is so freaking cute my battery is dying ariel the little mermaid doll look at that she's got a fan I want to be part of your world. Oh, look. She's just got a fleshy fin here at the bottom. No legs. No human legs. But look at that. Oh. I'm sorry, Ariel. Look at her face. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys, are y'all with me on this? I mean, I'm kind of like just prejudiced to thinking everything from the 90s is better. But like, look at how detailed the face is. Don't you feel like dolls back in the day, like Barbies and stuff, they had like much more detailed faces than the dolls do today? The last thing that it looks like we have in here is a bendy windy. And I never had one of these, but just look at how, look at this. Look at what's going on here. That's what you can do with a Bendy Wendy doll. And she's in here. Oh my God, she just has fun noodles for legs. This is hilarious. What year did this come out? I don't even remember this one and I'm sad that I don't because I feel like I just missed out on something that was going on in 1996. Look at that, Bendy Wendy. Hello. Bendy Wendy, I don't wanna hurt you. I do want your shoes though, can I have them? I'm just shocked and astounded by all of these amazing boxes of just absolute kindness that you guys have shown me. Thank you so much, Mary Beth. Oh my gosh, and how funny is it that it's a Bendy Wendy and a couple boxes ago we got a box from a Wendy? Look at that. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and for watching today's mail unboxing video. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want the next Swamp Family mail unboxing to just be normal Swamp Family mail or if you want me to do another 90s episode first. Let me know what you guys think down below. And a huge thank you to everybody who has been contributing to these videos and sending these 90s mystery goodies. Like I always say, please don't feel obligated or obliged to send me anything. But a special thank you to the people who 
are choosing to share the magic because not only is it like a present for me but it's also like a present to the entire Swamp family because we all get to share these memories together and there were so many awesome comments in the last video where you guys were just like sharing memories with me and with each other and saying like oh this was like some of your favorite toys some of your favorite stuff just like reliving your childhood and happy memories and I just think that that is a fun thing to share with everybody thank you guys so so much and I love y'all so much 2018 here we come um I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow bye